Uh, good morning, everybody. I wanted to share a really quick uh, review of a 3D image that we took this morning on a new patient. Um, you know, this is the image. There's one area I wanted to kind of focus on, and that's the patient's right nasal and, and left maxillary sinuses. You can see here there's a little bit of inflammation, what looks like a little bit of inflammation going on. Um, I don't see any dental issues necessarily, but if you look at all the inflammation in his sinuses, that's real significant. He's got some interesting septation happening here in the, in the right molar area on the maxillary sinus, right maxillary sinus. Um, but as we go more posteriorly, you can see this inflammation becomes real substantial. Now this area of streaking is normal based on the patient positioning within the machine. Uh, so we can see there's something questionable happening here. Uh, the left side looks fairly normal, at least consistent with what I've seen in the past. Um, but the right side, right nasal sinus, and the left maxillary sinus with all this inflammation. But let's focus on the right nasal sinus. So as I go upward um, on this axial slice, you can see, let's double click in here, you can see all of this happening here. So what, what concerns me, and I sent this off to beam readers to have them review it, is look at what happens to the nasal septum. This curves way out here, and there seems to be like there might be a little difference in consistency with regard to what's happening in the tissue in there. Um, so we'll go back down. You know, this looks fairly routine. I've seen some, you know, n n nasal sinuses that are pretty inflamed like this, um, but comparatively, that right side's a lot more inflamed. But as we continue to go more superiorly, um, the quality, the consistency of that inflammation seems to change. And to me, it looks like there's a different texture in this area here. Now it's very possible it's nothing to worry about. And I told the patient this is potentially just sinus inflammation and the deviated nasal septum may just be the way he is, you know, the way he was born, the way he developed, whatever. Um, it's also possible there's some lesion here that's developing and causing that nasal septum to move around. Anyway, so uh, the reason I wanted to share this case, here's some of that, you know, left maxillary sinus, uh, is because we sometimes get so focused on the teeth, maybe even the sinuses, that we ignore some of the other stuff, and potentially, you know, all the way up to the height, the very top of our imaging, sometimes we don't really spend a lot of time reviewing that. So I would encourage you as you're going through your 3D images to make sure that you're evaluating the whole thing. Um, if you don't know what's going on, if you don't recognize something or don't understand it, bring in the big guns, you know, send it out to to the oral and maxillofacial radiologists that have all the advanced training. Certainly grab your, your OD, grab your AD, grab your partner, whoever it is. Um, get some input, some feedback from them. But if there's any question, you know, send it on out um, to the professionals that do this all day, every day, from the standpoint of diagnosing pathology. So I've sent this out. Um, I've already uploaded it to Beam Readers. We're going to see um, what they come back with. Um, I've also suggested um, that he check in and see his um, ear, nose, and throat specialist uh, just as a matter of evaluation and that we would give him a copy of this 3D image if he wanted it um, or if the radiologist, uh, the ENT, wanted it. So that's my uh, note for the morning is make sure you review the entire image set, pay attention to those sinuses. Hopefully this is nothing to worry about. Um, I'm really hopeful that's nothing to worry about there. Um, we'll cross our fingers, and as soon as I hear, I'll send him a uh, text or give him a call or even forward the pathology report to him. Um, he'll be looking for it. All right, that's what I've got for you. Thanks. Have a great day. Uh, great day.